Acosta was born in El Paso, Texas to Manuel and Juanita, Nefiro, Acosta, from Mexico and El Paso, respectively. Oscar was the third child born but second to survive childhood. He had an older brother, Roberto, born in 1934. One, after the family moved to California, the children were raised in the small San Joaquin Valley rural community of Riverbank, California, near Modesto. 2-3, Acosta's father was drafted during World War II. After finishing high school, Acosta joined the U.S. Air Force. Following his discharge, Acosta worked his way through Modesto Junior College. He went on to San Francisco State University where he studied creative writing, 3, becoming the first member of his family to get a college education. He attended night classes at San Francisco Law School and passed the California Bar Exam in 1966. 6. In 1967, Acosta began working locally as an anti-poverty attorney for the East Oakland Legal Aid Society. 2. In 1968, Acosta moved to East Los Angeles and joined the Chicano movement as an activist attorney, defending Chicano groups and activists. He represented the Chicano 13 of the East LA walkouts, Rodolfo Gonzalez, members of the Brown Berets, and other residents of the East LA Barrio. His controversial defenses earned him the ire of the LAPD, who often followed and harassed him. Local law enforcement and the FBI linked Acosta to a shadowy organization called the Chicano Liberation Front, which claimed responsibility for numerous bombings in Southern and Northern California. Citation needed. In 1970, Acosta ran for sheriff of Los Angeles County against Peter J. Pitches, and received more than 100,000 votes. During the campaign, he was jailed for two days for contempt of court. He vowed that if elected, he would do away with the sheriff's department as it was then constituted. Known for loud ties and a flower that ash a case with a Chicano power sticker, Acosta lost to Pitches 1.3 million votes but did beat Everett Holliday, Monterey Park Chief of Police. In 1972, Acosta published his first novel, Autobiography of a Brown Buffalo, about a lawyer fighting for the rights of a marginalized people. It included a fictionalized account related to the murder of columnist Ruben Salazar of the Los Angeles Times. In 1973, Acosta published The Revolt of the Cockroach People a fictionalized version of the 1970 Chicano moral